Hey, what's up? Happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. What's really cool is today I get the opportunity to virtually read to an elementary class in Dallas, Texas from where I am to celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday. We're gonna use a tool called Zoom uh, where we're connecting with three classes at an elementary school, Donald Elementary. Shout out to Donald Elementary, what's up? So we're gonna get connected. So let's see how this goes. I gotta pull up my own invitation, isn't that crazy? All right, bam. I think we are ready. Let's go ahead and allow access. Let's see what we have. See everybody over here is waiting on, on me to join. We've got video. We have no participants. Bingo, there's one class. <laughs> I see, I see the ceiling. Oh. You can't hear me? Make sure your speakers are on. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes? <laughs> Great. Well, hello. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. My, my hat's too big. You can't see all of it. You can see all of my hat. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, so nice to see you this morning. Excited about school, right? Now tell me, are you hearing an echo? No echo. Okay, perfect. Great. Well, hello, my name is Brian Smith. Are you hearing that? Okay, is the echo gone? The alien's gone? <laughs> well, part of the problem... speaker issues are too close together. How about that? Is that better? Can everyone hear me? Can't see me? No. No, we can't see at the top. We see at the top. We're in the corner at the top. Muffled. Oh. I can see you now. I can see you now. You can see, you can see, you can see, you can see you 
see me now? You can see me sweating in this Dr. Seuss hat. <laughs> I'm a hot cat in the hat. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and begin. Like I said, my name is Brian Smith, as you see in the corner over there. And you can adjust uh, the screen. So I'm actually going to share the book with you. So when that happens, you can actually pull some handles on the monitor to pull me out so you can see a larger view of me. I warn you though, I have not shaved in, in a couple of days, so my beard is kind of kind of bushy. Is that okay? <laughs> well, my name is Brian Smith. I am a what we call a one-to-one -one technology learning coach in Fort Worth, Texas. And I help manage the technology uh, for our high schools here. And if you get a tour around... That is, I'm her big brother, by the way. I'm her older brother. She's, she's, the, she's the baby. She's the baby of the family. Well, I'm honored to, uh, to be with you today uh, to read Dr. Seuss. Now, here's the interesting part. You're familiar with the cat in the hat, right? But can you believe that I've never read The Cat in the Hat? Yes. <laughs> Until yesterday? Can you believe that? I'm I'm full, I'm I'm much older than you and I've never read it until yesterday. So we'll get the opportunity to read it today if you don't mind, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to share my screen with you. Tell me when you see the cat in the hat. Can you still see me in the corner? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Can you see my beard? Yes. Oh, okay. Just, just checking. So let's begin. And I'll be turning the pages. Now, I may ask some of you to read for me. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Awesome. All right, so The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. Let me move my screen around. Can you see that now? The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So he sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we two. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to get out, to go out, and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house. We did nothing at all. You ever had one of those days? Yes. <laughs> so all we could do was to sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it, not one little bit. And then something went bump. How that bump made me jump. We looked, then we saw him step in. Sorry, my microphone is moving. On the mat, we looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and that sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Sorry. Then Sally and I did not know what to say <laughs> because our mother was out of the house for the day. Now let me ask you this, would you let somebody in your house when your mother is not there? Yeah. Mm, very good. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat, you do not want to play. He should not be here, he should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. If I had a talking fish, I would listen to the fish. <laughs> Now, now, have no fear, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. 
Why, we can have lots of good fun, if you wish, with a game that I call Up, Up, Up with the Fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book on one hand and a cup on my hat. Can't see the cup. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. Look at me now. Look at me. Look at me now, said the cat with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. I can hold up two books. I can hold up the fish and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball. But that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. How many of you can actually do that? No wonder. <laughs> look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold the toy ship and a little toy man. And look, with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball. And that is not all. Oh, no, that is not all. What do you think the kids are thinking over here? You think he's pretty? <laughs> Think he's gonna fall? Yeah. Well, let's find out. Yeah. Yeah. This is what the cat said, then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball, and Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. What about the fish? <laughs> it's a flying fish now. <laughs> And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it, not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this, look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. <laughs> you shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. <laughs> but I like it here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. Now, would you trust this cat at this time? No. Interesting. Check this out. And then he ran out. And then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back with a box. A big red wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. <laughs> in this box are two things I will show you to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I don't know. I will pick up the hook. You will see something new. Two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. <laughs> then out of the box came thing two and thing one. And they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? Yes. I don't know, but they look pretty happy about this. Let's see what happens. And Sally and I did not know what to do, so we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, no, no, those things should not be in this house. Make them go. 
They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame and oh so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. I don't know. Now, here is a game they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump. All oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Can you really fly a kite in the house? Well, I guess you could with some fans. What do you think about that? Nah, don't do it. Don't do it. Trust me. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw these two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump. Thump, thump, bump, down the wall in the hall. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots, they are pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. I can see trouble happening here. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hops and big thumps, and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If mother could see this, <laughs> oh, what would she say? What would your mom say? She wouldn't get mad. <laughs> <laughs> I know what my mom would say. I wouldn't call her, though. Then our fish said, look, look, and our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. Uh-oh, what would your mom do? This So do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her, your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. <laughs> so as fast as I could, I went after my net. And I said with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Look at the mess in this house. I hope your rooms don't look like this. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> then I let down my net. It came down with the plop. And I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, Now do you now you do as I say. You pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat. You did not like our game? Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. And then he shut up the things in the box with the hook, and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away, yes. But your mother will come. She will find this big mess. And this mess is so big and so deep and so tall. We cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. And then, who was back at the house? Why, the cat. Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the books and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish and he put them away then he said that is that and then he was gone with the tip of his hat and then our mother came in and she said to us too did you have fun tell me what did you do <laughs> and sally and i did not know what to say 
Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now, what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? <laughs> would you tell her the truth? Yes. <laughs> you want to tell her the truth? Well, honesty is the best policy, but let's see. <laughs> the end. Enjoy that? Yes, that was good. <laughs> I'd rather like it myself. <laughs> Pardon? Sure, that's not a problem at all. You want me to go back to the book? <laughs>